first vocabulary word is cynic. Cynic. And if you look at her face, she seems, hmm. Hmm. What, what kind of face do you think that is? Hmm. It's kind of unsure, right? Hmm. We don't really know how she feels about something. Maybe someone said something and she's like, hmm, I don't know. A cynic is someone who always expects bad things to happen. Okay, so maybe um, everyone in class is excited for the field trip, but the cynic, Hannah, is not so sure. Okay, so if you're a cynic or if it, you're cynical, it means that you're, you usually um, are pretty skeptical and you're unsure. You're like, mm, I think something bad's going to happen. It's not going to be as good as everyone's hyping it up to be. I dropped all my vocab cards. Word number two, defiance, defiance. What do you think that dog's doing? This kid looks like he's really pulling on that leash. But is the dog coming? Hmm. If you act in defiance, it means you know something is not allowed, but you do it anyways. So in an act of defiance, Buddy refused to come when I called him. So this dog is acting in defiance. He's being defiant to his owner who wants him to come. Number three, profound, profound. He really looks like he knows what he's talking about, doesn't he? He's, he looks like he's given a good presentation. A profound thought is one that is deep and meaningful. So have you ever heard someone say something that you're just like, oh, man, that really hit me. That's, that's just true. Or it, it was something that was meaningful and it made you think a lot about it. Or maybe you read a story that taught you a lesson and you were like, wow, that was really meaningful. All of those things are profound, okay? So our sentence is, after Jaden read his essay, his profound thoughts started a class discussion. So I can really imagine that happening. You know, if someone delivers um, a speech or presents an essay that's profound, it's going to make everyone in the class, it's going to make their minds wonder and really start thinking. And that'll start a class discussion for sure. And our last word today is inadvertently inadvertently. You might notice in the picture we've got two different socks and that's two different kinds of shoes as well. This one has a pattern and this one's solid. So if you act inadvertently, it means that you do something by mistake or without realizing it. It's a synonym for it is an accident. So Josh was in such a hurry that he inadvertently wore two different shoes and socks to school. And you know that accidentally is a synonym because I could substitute the word inadvertently for accidentally. Josh was in such a hurry that he accidentally wore two different shoes and socks to school. If you can change the word, but the sentence means still the same thing, those two words are synonyms. It means they mean the same thing or very similar things inadvertently. Alrighty, that's our vocabulary for today. Let's read them all one more time. We have cynic. Hmm, I'm not so sure. I think it's going to go badly. Defiance. I'm not going to do what you tell me to. I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> it's acting in defiance. Profound. Very meaningful and deep thought. Hmm. Probably coming from someone wise and inadvertently, something done accidentally 